Hi, I'm going to show you how to uh, connect to your IBM cluster. In this case, I'm going to be using an IBM free Kubernetes cluster that I just created. Um, so when you log in into your, in your account, make sure that you are in the right context here. This could be a drop down, or if you have one account, it'll be only one. After you do that, um, the easiest way to get to your cluster is I always go to the navigation menu, uh, create, uh, click um, Kubernetes in this menu. Um, um, and then click clusters and this will bring up the list of clusters. I only have one, which is a free one and expires in 21 and 29 days. Uh, after that, you can create a new one. It doesn't matter uh, if they're still free. You don't get charged to your credit card. So um, clicking in uh, in the cluster will give you the, the overview of the state of this cluster. In this case, I uh, upgraded this cluster by going into the actions and update version. If you are doing one of my tutorials or taking one of my boot camps, recommend you to uh, go and update the version, select the latest version, uh, in this case 1.18, and that would take around one hour, so um, it would take a while, so you can log out and um, have coffee and then come back and your cluster will be up updated. Um, this cluster is healthy, it's only one node, and I'm going to show you how to connect from the uh, first from the IBM Cloud Shell. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go to the IBM Cloud Shell, which is uh, at the top right. Uh, there's an icon here uh, with a command prompt or terminal. Uh, so you click on there, it will open a new tab. I'm going to put them side by side um, because um, that way I can show you uh, the instructions on what uh, commands to run. Um, to connect to this cluster from the IBM Cloud Shell, it already comes with the IBM Cloud CLI and it already comes with the IBM uh, Cloud plugin for Kubernetes and other utilities like Git or Vim, Linux utilities to, to work if you want to some, do something quick and not on your laptop. So if you bring up uh, the terminal, you can um, see connect via the, via the CLI um, and you can connect here. And what you can do is uh, run the IBM Cloud login, but um, when the Cloud Shell starts, it's already, you're already logged in. So I'm going to show that a little bit bigger. Um, and um, you can run uh, the, the command uh, in IBM Cloud. So um, you don't have to do the first one. You're already logged in. To validate that you're logged in, you can do IBM Cloud Target, and this should bring your current um, context. So I'm, my, my region is US South, which matches my, my region US South. Uh, be careful because uh, you might need to switch uh, regions because the IBM free clusters uh, this uh, currently uh, you can get provision to uh, US South or you can get uh, provision to Europe. So there's two regions. So um, if if you are in the wrong region, doesn't match, uh, you can switch over with uh, the command IBM cloud target. Um, if you look at the help, you can use the dash R and then target a different region. For example, I can do IBM cloud target dash R and then put the region that I want that usually you copy paste it from here. Um, I don't have to log in again already. I'm already log logged in in here. Uh, the default, well, watch out for the region, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, uh, um, resource group. Uh, it could be capital D uh, with default or lowercase d. So just pay attention into that um, from your IBM Cloud target. Uh, so in this case, mine is uh, lowercase d. I think this used to be the old way. Now it's capital D. Uh, just take that into account. Um, and then uh, what you can do is uh, the next command. So the next command, uh, you will be getting the Kubernetes configuration uh, for this cluster, which is that this is the idea. You can pass the name of the cluster, which is my cluster. And I'm going to paste that here. Um, and then run that command and it will take um, less than a minute to get an access token to be used in Kubernetes and configure the kubectl config file. So now kubectl is uh, uh, ready and the IBM shells already comes with uh, kubectl. So as you can see, you can even copy this command here, which I like to do, it's kubectl get, uh, get nodes and that will print that you're connected and the worker node is ready and actually the version. Um, which is 1.17 uh, for the worker node, sorry. Um, and this, um, uh, or you can just copy paste this here and run this command and then you'll be, you'll be connected uh, to that cluster. 
I can do the same um, from the IBM uh, cloud uh, login. Uh, so I already installed the IBM uh, CLI. So um, if you go to the to the documentation, uh, to the docs, and find how to install the IBM Cloud CLI, you search for Cloud CLI, uh, you will get getting started with the CLI. This will walk you over uh, for Linux, Mac, or Windows on how to install um, uh, the the everything, all the all the utilities, or you can just install the standalone uh, CLI where you can install the, the login uh, and, the, and the plugin for, for Kubernetes. So there's different ways of installing the CLI uh, from there. I already have it in my laptop, so I can going to show you how to connect from my laptop here, um, which is our, the, the same commands that we were showing before. Let me go back to my cluster and then get the uh, information. So I'm going to uh, configure my CLI to, that, to this context. Um, I could use IBM uh, Cloud uh, Target. In this case, I'm going to enter my information. Uh, and your account may be um, uh, federated, so you might need to do SSO. Mine is federated, so I have to do this and get a uh, two-factor authentication, which I can get here, and then uh, paste it, and then I'll be logged in. And select my account. Once I select my account, I have access to uh, many accounts. Here, um, I'm I'm logged in. Um, and then, what I can do here is um, copy uh, the command to connect to my cluster. And I'm logged in into my cluster. And now I can run kubectl get nodes, and I should get the same information uh, as before. Uh, my worker node is 1.17. Um, so if I go to here, um, the version is 1.17. I can update this worker node now uh, to 1.18, which I can do now once my master is updated. Uh, this one will start updating uh, and it will take a while. Um, so you have to update the master node first, which is managed by IBM Cloud, and then uh, update the um, uh, worker nodes and it could be one or many in this case this is the IBM free cluster so uh, it's it's um, it's only one and it should go quicker than if you have a, a, a large cluster so that's uh, a way that you can use the the CLI in your computer or the CLI in the IBM um, cloud shell which has other utilities like Git if you want to do that or you can do IBM cloud CR if you want to build a container image and push it to the container registry in IBM Cloud and um, other commands, for example, IBM Cloud Functions, you can do it from here and you can have multiple sessions um, and different terminals with different commands. And um, uh, we are, uh, this is in beta. Uh, we'd love to get feedback from you to see how you like um, this, this environment. So I appreciate you watching and uh, learning how to connect to your um, IBM Kubernetes cluster. Thank you.